It's time for the Gizwiz with Mads, Maddest Reiner, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1707, recorded Thursday, December 27th, 2018. I have the foggiest. On this episode of the Gizwiz, we have three gadgets you haven't seen before, and one gadget you have seen many, many times. I continue the holiday gadgets and your viewer videos all next on The Giz Win. It's the same dumb show with Dickie D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for The Giz Win because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing blue and LEDs. Get ready for The Giz Win now. Now! now. And here he is, the Chris Kringle of gadgets, Dick D. Bartolo. How you doing, Dickie D? I'm doing fine, sir. And you? Doing good myself. Just got back yesterday from all the holiday cheer. Oh my God! Christmas. What was the, what was the most exciting thing you got? Ah, uh, okay, two, two very two. exciting things. One was an eight terabyte. External hard drive. Eight oh, that's terabytes. Great. I'll never wow. run out. Uh, and then the second thing was a weighted blanket. I got a, have you heard of these weighted blankets? No. So it's kind of a new thing-ish. I started, I probably heard of the, them for the first time about a year ago. Is um, And the way that I heard about it is, um, you know when you were at the dentist and they lay that lead thing over you? Oh, yes, yes, you? yes, yeah. Well, I'm, anytime that always happens, I'm kind of like, oh, like there's something like nice and therapeutic over that weighted feeling on you. And I don't know if this was the original idea behind it or not, but basically it is a blanket that you would sleep with every night. It doesn't have lead in it, but it's weighted to give pressure on your body as you sleep. Oh, so don't do your cats and dog do that? <laughs> sometimes, yes. But but uh, he's a little. It's a little easier to kind of move the blanket. It's hard to move. Oh, Charlie. okay. Yeah, he's a he. He's almost too weighted. He's oh, too heavy. <laughs> I see. Um. So yeah. So I've had I've had really bad sleep issues for the past. I'd say two three years, um, oh where I've been trying to find better ways to fall asleep. So. I've only used it for three sleep cycles. Uh, so far, it seems good. We'll see if it helps. It's supposed to ha help with people with ADD, ADHD. There's a whole list of stuff. Do, do you know what, what they weighed it down with? Any idea? Glass beads. So they use little itty-bitty glass beads. And then the oh, blanket okay. here. I can see if um, you know, I may even have the one that they got. Um, it is a big gift, I will warn you. This, was a, this is a, not an inexpensive um, gift that I got, um, cause I think I have it. Oh, one thing I hate about Pinterest is that it, you have to log in to see the site. Oh, and that's normally where I send all my, um, and right now the site doesn't want me to log in. But anyway, um, they, they make the blanket in such that there's like about six inch, six inch by six inch squares. And then each square has a small amount of glass beads. And they're really itty bitty, tiny. And then the blanket that I have weighs 20 pounds. And that's oh the, whole, the whole blanket. So only, only about probably half of it is pressing on you. So you, you only have 10 pounds. So it's fully distributed um, over you. But uh, I'm excited about it. I, any, I will try anything at this point. Um, and, and I am. So... <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see. Um, I feel like I need to give it a, a good long time. I'm not going to just take one one nap and say, voila, it, it's so oh, yeah, much better. Yeah, okay. um, I'm going to wait and see how my sleep goes. So The one thing that I can say is it really discourages tossing and turning because there's so much weight. <laughs> it's like Oh, that's it. You see, moving. I... I, I I toss and turn terribly. Oh, yeah. And Same. so a lot of the times I sleep in my recliner chair yeah. because I, I can't toss and turn. And also, Charlie always sleeps on my lap. Yeah. So uh, the only thing with that is 
for my apartment, uh, I have a 50 inch TV and my recliner's right in front of it. And <laughs> sometimes I wake up and th- there's like a movie on with a man standing there with a gun <laughs> and you wake up and you go, Oh, ah! oh, ah! oh, 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 it's the TV. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I, I, the recliner helps me not twist and turn. So yeah, yeah. you have to tell me after a month or so, uh, how that works. Yeah. I'm looking forward to testing it out and no, that, that seeing sounds, for myself. So, yeah. That's good. Um, in, in the opening, the thing I referred to that you've seen many times, <clears throat> I'm about to put it away and I forgot to even talk about it because this is my favorite gadget from years and years and years ago. And here's 40 se- uh, 45 seconds of video. If you don't remember or know, Side stepping Santa Claus. A uh, Sa- Santa selfie. Oh, oh. Cole like side stepping selfie Santa. <laughs> he did like, it again. <laughs> I did it again. This person, Charlie. Sleigh's loaded up and I'm ready to go to fly through the sky in the Christmas snow. Got lots of stops and it's going to be tricky quick. Let me take a selfie. Oh, 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 oh. Selfie, selfie, selfie. <laughs> Charlie loves it. <laughs> He's, not, <laughs> He's not sure. All right, so Santa, you have to go back to the North Pole. Let's pack it in and go. Here he goes. Oh, and up the chimney, up the chimney. Bye, Santa. Bye. <laughs> My still my favorite feature of that is the uh, front facing facing flash. I mean, uh, I, I, yeah, I think that's just so clever. Um, anyway, oh, I'll assign it to uh, Captain Jane. And the rest of the chat room. I have searched all day to find out if self if sidestepping Santa selfie is still available for sale. I could find them nowhere. So I know by the end of the show, someone's going to say, it's on Ali. It's on AliExpress for $2. For, <laughs> yeah. Say, for two and months. two months shipping. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. Exactly. You'll have it by next Christmas. Order now <laughs> and have it by next Christmas. Um, anyway, should we jump into the show? Yeah, let's jump in. Let's jump in. Okay. Uh, three gadgets you may not have seen. Here's number one. We have more speakers here on Gizwiz TV. This is them. What's different? They have mirrors, da da, mirrors on each one. But wait, there's more. I'll play a little Gizwiz.tv stuff. It's time for the Gizwiz oh, wow. with Mads, Mattis Rider, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1706, recorded Thursday, December 20th, 2018. Crapasaurus. <laughs> On this episode of the Gizwiz, we have three... Pretty neat, isn't it? So they are Infinity Light Bluetooth speakers. Um, I lost the instructions for this, and when I tried to pair them... Because I live so close to so many techie people, there were like 50 different names of things, including someone's Apple TV. So and of course, they I didn't They didn't label them Infinity Speakers. To auxiliary. And in the back, there's a little button here, and the lady talks to you. You hit mode. Bluetooth mode. And then... She, uh, AUX mode. AUX mode. Okay. <laughs> Now, back here, there's also a micro SD card input, so you can play, take the speakers any way you want, and play uh, music directly from the uh, SD card slot. Uh, And then there's track buttons there if you're playing it from here instead of your phone. Uh, I think that's it. it. It also doesn't come with a plug, but it comes with a USB power adapter. And that, so there's a lot of wires. So basically, there's a wire that goes from one speaker to the other. Then there's a wire that goes to the plug. Or you can plug it directly into your computer. It terminates in USB. Right now, I have USB to an AC plug. And that's about it. 
No, there's uh, a wire there's from one speaker to the other. The company says they're wood, and I think they are wood. They are... Uh, they call Infinity Light Bluetooth speakers. The company is... Oh, it's not here. Uh, so, twenty seven ninety one. I think a pretty decent price. That's at Pulse TV. That's where I bought them. But they charge... I think it was $8 shipping. Uh, you can also get them on Amazon. So, let's see. Roughly $28, $38, $8 would be $36. Or you can get them on... Oh, Leading Edge was the company that makes them. You can get them on Amazon, and it says starting at $39. So on, on Amazon, they're probably about 2 bucks more. And they go all the way up to 50 and 60 bucks. So don't pay more than 40 bucks. Basically, they're inexpensive. They're lightweight. Our frequency responses, like... Uh, I think they said... 28, whatever it is. There it is. Fair. There it it's is. <laughs> That's it. Dicky Bartolo, the Gizwiz. Wait a second, don't. I want you to go out looking at those speakers playing as Chad talks. <laughs> oh, Talk to okay. Magic as seen oh, on TV, which you can get from <laughs> just about any drugstore. Which one's real? Chad so if you're last minute Christmas shopping, talks. we got some ideas for you. Another crappy corner from me, second to last, and an amazing warehouse. All next on The Gizwiz! You know, voice sounds voice sounds really good on them. Yeah, I could kind of tell that, that in audio form, if you're listening to the audio only version, that might be yeah. difficult to tell who's actually talking there. Um... That's pretty so cool. You, I like it. Yeah, <laughs> if you like look. gadgety things, um, they're pretty neat. The thing that I was a little disappointed in is when I had my disco house, but I had a, a, an, an infinity wall. It was like three feet by three feet, but I, I think it was $350. But back then, they weren't LEDs. So they were rows and rows of lights that could actually glow with your with the volume of your voice. LEDs are so efficient that no matter what you say, they all go full bright. So even turning the volume down, you more or less get all the lights all the time on every syllable or every beat of the music. Uh, but still in all, it's a neat effect. And like I said, they're under 40 bucks. Uh, either at Pulse with shipping or on Amazon with free shipping. Um, they are cheap. And oh, they and then Chad. Yeah. Go, uh, I was going around Amazon and I found, if you like this, <laughs> Bluetooth LEDs with embedded Dancing waters. <laughs> you know, if you go down to the bottom of that page, there's a view of video a little further and uh, a little further. That, that That's oh, just a still. I think I passed it, actually. Uh, this oh, one. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Yeah. And just go start a minute in okay. if you can. Yeah, okay. And so because he does a lot of talking. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah. Stay in the background. Good. It's like the ultimate yeah. piece of crap, but I like it. <laughs> of course, I have dancing waters. I have an LED speaker. <laughs> she, she's impressed. I, Look at yeah, that. She's impressed. Yeah. <laughs> That's uh, all you need <laughs> is your mother in the background who's impressed with the gadget you just bought. That's, that's exactly, really that's or, or possibly his wife or or, or girlfriend, yeah, and that I think I think that was I think fifty bucks. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, that was yeah forty nine ninety nine. Nice, cute little so. speakers. Infinity. I remember the first time I saw those. I think I was in a Spencer's Gifts or something. It was just mind blowing. It's just like, how does this work? How? how? Oh, hey, why is know? it? It's bigger on the inside. When I first saw it, uh, you know, uh, eventually we built an infinity floor oh, wow. uh, in my disco. And I said to this guy, Bob Kyler, who does all that, I said, you know, can people dance on it? And he said, well, you're going to have to go with like one inch plexi 
if you want it in the floor. Um, and, you know, it's done with one-way and two-way mirrors. Right. Well, the ultimate effect is astounding on a boat <laughs> because <laughs> you know you're in the Hudson River. Yeah. <laughs> and you're looking down and you see this endless uh, LED lights. It was it was a, a huge effect, a great effect. That's awesome. That's and no one cool. ever, you didn't even have to wear life jackets to dance. <laughs> there you go. I think the fanciest um, club I've ever been on in in was you would dance on a uh, shark tank. And there was a shark. Oh my God, are you under, kidding? Under there. Yeah, uh, the place is closed down now. But yeah, <laughs> I, I remember that. I think it was called Qua in Austin. It was the fanciest club I had ever been to. Oh and my God. Uh, it must have been enormous. And I and I felt so bad for the shark. Had to yeah. listen to that horrible music all the time. Yeah, it was it was not great. I, I hope yeah, I hope it was a huge tank at least. It was oh a small God. shark and it was a big it was a big tank. I mean it oh, was okay. It, it was long. It would it would have it would must have been 20 30 feet long and about 6 feet wide. And so the it was like a smaller shark and he would like yeah. go well, around it. I hope they put him in a in a good retirement shark home. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. For putting up with that. Exactly. Um okay, gadget number 2 has a whole story involved with it and this is it. Writer, it's dead winter in New York City, and I started to find every time I came in the studio and touched something, get a little shock, you know, static electricity, you get in winter because it's bone dry in here. And then I thought, I should really find out how dry it is. And I thought, wait a minute, my water clock shows humidity. Oh, yeah, I forgot well, about that. My water clock shows nothing. Oh, no! Uh, I've gone through the troubleshooting. You're supposed to rinse it with a little bit of... So I did everything. It's just dead. Uh, but you know what? I happen to be holding it up in front of the monitor, and it's not totally lost. It's a wonderful, magical filter. <laughs> I can do Technicolor with my magic water clock Technicolor filter. All right. So this went from something I liked to something I didn't like. And then I thought, wait a minute, I need more humidity. Arctic air. <laughs> Remember Arctic air, the air conditioner sold as an air conditioner for up to 89 bucks. When in reality, it's it's a water cooler. But in the summer, when I tried it, it ra it lowered the temperature a bit but it raised the humidity a lot. And I thought, could this now be usable? You know, it's well made. I hated to throw it out. So I decided I'm going to get a professional humidity gauge. And I found this online. It's the Thermo Pro TP55 Digital Hydrometer Indoor Thermometer Humidity Gauge Jumbo Touchscreen and Backlit Temperature humidity monitor. Now look at this over here. 3,351 reviews. Wow. 4.6 stars. 84% gave it five stars. That's amazing. Uh, $13.99. A great price. So it was a little smaller than I thought. This is it. Uh, there's the little. You just push that button. I wish there was a way to keep it lit, but there isn't. It runs on two AAA batteries. Um, so it shows you current temperature, current humidity. It also shows that it's dry in here. There's dry, comfort, and wet. It also shows the high and low of the day. Let me hit it again. It also shows the high and the low ever. Ever. Not through all of civilization, but since you put the batteries in. And... There's magnets on the back if you want to stick it on, you know, like a refrigerated door. There's a fold-up bracket, and there's a little uh, screw slot. All right. So, does it work? Actually, it, I know it works. But let's see if we can drive up. <laughs> let's see if we can drive up the humidity. This would be noisy for a minute. Uh, I would like to make this blue on the other side just so it matches 
Okay. All right. So <laughs> we have coffee. 22. Matches the top. And I'm going to put that a little bit toward you. And Dennis, you'll have to tell me if, if and when it starts changing. Because we are putting humidity in the air. Let me make sure I put water in here. Yeah, I put water in this tank. And... So what's going to change? There, on here. Oh. We should be on this. It's 22. And 22, and we should... Uh, I'll pu push it back so I can okay. see it and talk at the same time. All right, so I thought, you know what? Has anybody else done this? And, you know, Arctic Air is also Just called moved. 25. Is also called a swamp cooler. So I, I went online and said, can you use... Oh, 26, oh, wow. a swamp cooler to up? increase humidity. And there were several articles saying they're dual purpose. Cooling in the winter and at 27, adding humidity in the summer. Adding humidity in the winter, rather. Um, so I got to... Wow. You, all right, so obviously it's yeah. not going to be this close. I'm just doing it here so we can see that this thing changes rather rapidly. But... It must put more than a gallon of water 29? into the studio uh, every day. And I've gotten no shock since I started using this and uh, using this to check out the humidity. So for 14 bucks and great reviews, I think it's really worth it. Amazon and it's Amazon Prime. And so in one show, I found something I liked. I don't like any more, and something I didn't like, I like now. <laughs> Dick Bartolo, Mads Medis writer, and the Gizwiz, shocking, shock free <laughs> here at Disneyland Studio. Bye. That is, I'm impressed that it happened that quickly. You could also just use a yeah, humidifier I mean, if you happen to have one. Yeah, yeah I, I'm going, I, I bought a humidifier for the back, which works great, but I, I just felt like, if I could get some little bit of life out of that Arctic air, which yeah. by the way um, was twenty eight dollars, not when I when, 80, when yeah, I, whatever we yeah, saw, yeah, yes, exactly, um, it would be okay. So that's what I'm doing, that's and then nice. um, I'm waiting for deal of the day on a humidifier on Amazon, and then I can put that away. But this company always look assume at, me as as <laughs> like a sick gadget. You only use a humidifier when you yes, sick. yes, exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> But Thermopro makes, look at, oh, they make them as, as low as 10 bucks. Yeah. And they make them with outside probes if you want. Oh, wow. Uh, a ton of them. There's, a, there's another nice. one. For, another, this one for, you know what? I wish mine was yellow. Yeah. That's uh, pretty cool. Yeah. So this if you're is looking such for nice information, because also it, it can just, I can imagine it can just end a whole bunch of house arguments. You know, the house is no, really I'm cold. Oh, no, it's really warm. Well, it says here. <laughs> we had an endless fight with my, um, with my father. We go, it's freezing in here. And he goes, uh, I'm warm. And we would go, you're wearing three sweaters and a coat. And he would say, I can feel it on my face. <laughs> <laughs> so we could never win. So you're right. This this is a good argument settler for not a uh, for under twenty bucks for yeah. most of them. Absolutely, very worth it. Um, yeah, that's a nice that's a nice solid gadget. It's something you yep. got to own. Uh, okay, gadget number three is limited use, but I need it for New Year's Eve, and I thought if other people want it, there might be time to uh, get it for New Year's Eve or Halloween, and this is it. It's the Disneyland Disco, Mad Mattis Writer, and the Gizwiz. Ooh, we're making fog, very foggy here at Disneyland Studio. Actually, I'm making my own fog, and this is it. Actually, do I have to turn the light on, or can you see me? We can yeah. see you. You can see me. Okay, so this is the Cronova. 400 watt fogger with wired remote and supposedly with this remote. It's supposed to come with a little wireless remote, which would be really convenient. 
So mine came without the remote. And uh, I'm gonna, I'll fog while I talk. I'll fog as I talk. Um, so I contacted the company by email and they said, how about this? We'll give you $10 off since we didn't send a remote. And I said, I really want a remote. And they said, um, a woman called, okay. And I said, I really want a remote. I, 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 she said, okay. I said, should I send this back? I said, it's full of fog fluid. She said, you know what, just keep that and we'll send you one with a remote. She said, I'm terribly sorry. At the factory, all the boxes are mixed up. They don't know which ones have remote and which ones don't. <laughs> kind of stupid, so we'll isn't send it? You one with a remote. Uh, we don't we hope say, we send you one with a remote. They sent me another one that just arrived without a remote. <laughs> so now I gotta <laughs> argue with them and send that back. So let me tell you the good part and the bad part about this one. Uh, this, the shot of fog is very short. Okay. It's about probably 20 seconds worth of fog. And I'll show you exactly so you can see for yourself. Okay. You have to wait for that red light to light up and now it's lit up and I'm going to lift this up. I'm trying to get the fog to go, uh, in front of that light there. Okay. So you lift it up. I'm pressing the button and I'm holding the button down. All right. So, oh, this is actually the longest fog run I ever got. Okay, now that's it. So the light has gone out, and there's no more fog until the light comes back on. For a small space, this is really good. As a matter of fact, the first day, I had two people knock on the door saying, is it all right in there? It looks like smoke's coming out your door. Uh, so for a small place, you don't want more than 400 watts. The price is unbelievable. When I had my disco studio on the houseboat, the fog machine was a couple hundred bucks. Uh, even fog juice is cheap. ta -da! Halloween party fog fluid. I think I overdid it, but, you know, I'm always looking for the best price. A quart was $10.00. So a gallon is four quarts, and that was $20. So instead of buying two quarts, I got a gallon for $20. And you unscrew this. It's a little, uh, probably it's so dark in here that you may not be able to see. It's just um, a little plastic uh, jar in there that you fill with the uh, fog of fluid. And this thing, plastic hose sits at the bottom of that, has a little fitting on it so that it doesn't, get clogged but I, I like it uh we're going to use it for new year's eve there's a little indicator down there that lets you see into the jar how much fluid there is um i, I wish it came with that remote control in the reviews people did get the remote control because one person said don't worry about the four buttons they all do the same thing as a matter of fact several people remarked that the remote control looks like it does a lot of things. No matter what pr uh, button you press, it shoots the fog, which is fine with me because I could use the, the fog machine from afar without having to uh, hook it up. All right, that's it. Let's do, let's end in total fog. Dick DiBartolo, Mads Madis Rider, and the Gizwiz. One take theater here at Disneyland Disco. Bye. I'm surprised you didn't set off a f fire alarm. <laughs> For a long, yeah. So Captain J said he bought this exact same unit twice and both times got a remote. Weird. This is how mad it makes you, just steaming <laughs> mad. I've, that's right. That's right. <laughs> um, so if they're not sending remotes... I can see why they wanted to give me $10 back because if you go on, uh, I, I sent you some links. Yeah. So, uh, this, so is this is the one with the, the remote. And, yes. Um, and then I found what looks like the same machine for $25. Without the remote. Without the remote. So you could get that. It's 400 watts. Uh, the 
little fill jars in the exact same place. When I went to the close up of the back of the machine, it's exactly the same. There you go. It's exactly the same as mine. So you could get that for uh, $24. Um, again, oh, and here's somebody that it looks is claiming like it's only that it, wireless. Yeah, it's you see, that's why I don't know why they can't send me a remote, is because where the remote well, goes, you plug in that transmitter. Oh, you're right. You see, <laughs> I thought I thought it was a totally different machine. Right. But it's the same machine, but you you, you plug in the receiver, and then when you use that little remote transmitter, so that's I don't know why weird. they can't get their act together. Absolutely. Um, anyway, I am. I'm seriously very surprised you didn't set off a smoke alarm because I did that in my house on Halloween. Every smoke yeah. alarm went off. It was horrible. But, it was. It was but like. Did, but did you minutes. send off? Right. <clears throat> but what I just set off there is all the fog I can get with. What I'm doing it now. <laughs> I just there goes the fog machine. All right. It looks and like a different was, fog than maybe I had because yours. You had you had uh, a thicker, richer fog. Yeah, it, it seems like it, and it's, it's hung around like. Yeah, this is very water vapory. Yeah, mine was like stuck around. Yeah, this, oh, <laughs> is that you? No, that is not me. <laughs> uh, hang on a second. <laughs> What are the chances? <laughs> oh, we may have to edit again. This is too funny. That is too funny. rich. That was so... <laughs> and, and the funny thing was, when you said that, I suddenly thought, Wait a minute. Maybe I should get rid of my smoke detector because, <clears throat> and and I think the reason it went off and not in the video. It's because in the video pointed in a different I, corner. That is exactly right. I was fogging toward the windows, <laughs> oh, <laughs> and sitting here, I'm fogging funny. toward the back wall, which is. <laughs> well, I am <laughs> relieved you that you do have smoke detectors, detectors smoke and they do work. Because I was afraid that you just didn't have any in that room. That no, is so funny. that is a riot. <laughs> <laughs> that is a riot. Oh my god, you would have uh, thought we had scripted that. Okay, at, at the second mention of smoke detectors, make sure you uh, set uh, them yes, off. Was, I thought you were doing a joke there. Yeah. I thought you had a sound effect or something. <sighs> that is very funny. Okay, well there you go. You got a few different options of smoke machines. You can take a gamble on a remote for 35 bucks. 25 bucks, you can get the uh, good old fashioned wire. Exactly. Wire and remote. Exactly. Uh, that is too funny. Um, and of course, uh, Captain Jay could just mail me a remote if he was kind. <laughs> you can find it. Only if it's the kind of remote that plugs into the back, Captain Jay. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Mm. Uh, okay, with that, uh, we are. Yes. We are headed. Oops. I'm. <laughs> Playing a <laughs> video. Uh, we are headed to. Oh, I don't. Your have final. The last of the holiday season. No, you don't need it, <laughs> but you <laughs> might want it at Chad's Crappy Corner. No. Get it. You know it's going to be a good one when the packaging is just a plain old bag from Amazon. Oh, that is it. Oh my gosh. So holiday is still the theme, so we still got another holiday gadget uh, to give to give you, even though the holidays are basically over, except for New Year's Eve. So this, I thought, was just a fun, you know, what do people like to do on the holidays? They like to send each other holiday cards, uh, little cards to send to one another. And so this was, and I still haven't made it yet, We I want to make it live, but this was oh. an idea of, of a fun way to kind of gadget that up and change, change it up a bit. So here's the Amazon page. It's an Xmas, it's a, it's a music card, so it'll play music, but it should also be a pop-up card. So it pops out, it has a whole bunch of little like decorations. 
So I really kind of wanted to see what that would looks like. It lights up. Ooh. Oh my word. Yeah, so I thought this was just a really fun little thing to send um, instead of just the normal traditional card. Inside the bag, it comes with the card. It also comes with, it looks like tape. It comes with holiday tape. And this holiday tape has Santa Claus all over it. And it also is kind of wrapped up in there. So we've got some holiday tape. We have the card. Let me kind of look at this tape really quickly. Okay, so that's what it looks like. It looks like packing tape with, uh, with Santa all over it. And yes, I was correct. It's just plain old paper tape. Here's what the, uh, the package looks like. The one thing, the one thing I kind of leaves to be desired with this package is that all of the instructions seem to be in <laughs> Chinese. <laughs> and I am not sure how well <laughs> that is gonna serve me oh in um, putting this together. Uh, let's go ahead and dive in. Maybe Here it's all in one piece. Maybe I'll open it and it'll just pop up. It, it might. Here we go. Okay, so there's that, there's that. It looks like there was instructions. Okay, there's just oh, two there instructions. Two two steps. It looks like you Oh, okay, so you pull this one second. You pull this out. Okay. Then you unfold Santa. And then Is there are you supposed to do anything with that? I guess not. And then I just take this and pop it. There's two little um, eye holes, right. little things. You shove that back inside. And then right on the top, it says press. Ooh, I'm afraid I'm gonna rip this. I'm trying to really fit that inside of there. There we go. Oh, this one goes the opposite direction. Oop. Oh, oh no. Pulled out my previous one. Okay, this, wow, this is frustrating. I thought I could do it live. Get in there. Okay, we got one in, this one ripped. Um, okay. It creates a little bulge. And then what you do is it says, it says on the top, push. Maybe I, oh. Oh my. Wow. So it has a it has light LEDs in there. In there. Already. It's a little wire back there. Oh. Okay. That's kind of cute. It's kind of cute. I just realized that the um, this little this opens, so you can have more of a three D. Uh, Oops, get out of here, tape. The tape that I had opened earlier, it's getting on, on there. But this could be a little bit more 3D, this little tree. And that's about it. it does it play me a different song if I hit it again? It does! Yes! Wow! Tidings to you. And there's a little area on the back for your message. Oh, right there. Wow. What, what other song does it have in there? Jingle all the way. Oh, what so that's song? three? Yeah. Here, can I stop it? Oh. Four, right? I think. I don't know what the song is. No. It's time for two Walking in a wonderland. Like land. Land. Yeah. Okay. Right. Five Christmas. songs. I forget what the first one was. Okay. This is the first one. Had a very shiny nose. Okay, so six songs. Six, six songs. And Maybe it's on sale now for next year. Holy cow. That's incredible. Okay. So other than the instructions, which you can't read, um, and the tape, which I really don't understand why this is a added additional thing in there. 
Um, it was not as cheap as I had hoped, but it was $15, 15 dollars, fifteen fifty. Yeah, mm. a little bit of a bummer there. Does have that light up uh, yeah. stuff in there? So you know, is is this uh, the page we're looking at is live now? Yeah, this is it. Oh, so they're not selling it at half price. No, here, and I can open up Camelizer here. Let's see. No, it's been at Whoa, that price forever. Was, at like one point, seems... it was almost $20? Yeah, that's third party. It doesn't seem to have... What? what why? Does it think it's $20 now? I'm so confused. You know, Camelizer. I think it said Amazon not in stock. No, but this would say not in stock. Ooh, it's in stock. Yeah, how huh, weird. Um, don't worry. Someone will find it quickly and for $2. Yeah. On Alibaba. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I thought this was a fun little thing. I don't think it was worth $15. but uh, No, but I'm sort of impressed that it had LEDs and, and yeah. six songs. Yeah, and I feel like this would be a fun little thing. I could see this sitting on an entry table somewhere, you know, just, just hanging out. And then you come by. Yeah. It. It's loud. That's the thing. Yeah, I think it's pretty neat for next year. Yeah. If your mom's not watching, you could give it to her. <laughs> if I hadn't ripped this little thing out here, <laughs> it would have been perfect. Yeah, so there you go. Uh, a cool pop-up musical LED Christmas card uh, for the same price as a thermometer humidifier detector. Same yeah, price. exactly. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> Although mine is year-round. <laughs> Exactly. Mine, Yours you know, is I don't season. know. Christmas stores, they, they're they open <laughs> all year true. long. That's true. <laughs> um, so there you go. That's my last holiday gadget. Next month, we're going to... Our first two episodes are the worst of and best of. Or best of right. and worst of. And then of. there are two or three, and they're going to all be CES. CES, so... We're not going to ask the patrons next month for, for any crappy corner themes. We're going to stick to CES and showing all that stuff off. Um, but yeah, so anyway, I think this is a, a, a good month, a good month of gadgets. So uh, can't wait till we get back to it. With that, let's move on to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. <laughs> Together they are loopy When gadgets pass away He takes them out to play In Dick's Gadget Warehouse Foghorn uh, Our email is from Cassandra Who says I'm sending you two videos So we'll use them uh, on different shows A uh, couple of weeks apart She said my first one Shows all the phones and tablets I've collected over the years. So let's watch Cassandra's warehouse video. Hey, Dick. Hey, Chad. Hey, I thought I would show you some of my gadgets <laughs> that I just can't get rid of. And we're going to start with, I think it would be the oldest one I've had, which was the Nokia E63. Still works. Wow. Still wow. Works. I went from that to a Samsung old flip phone this phone I kept mainly because uh, Dick you would know this the elevated track platform it fell from that to the ground and survived the only thing happened was the battery Whoa. I put the battery back on work with no more issues Wow! I got it unlocked from T-Mobile since I was keeping it I went from that to the Samsung Vibrant that was one of my first Third. Galaxy phones. Okay, and then I dabbled in Apple a little bit. And as you can see, it's dying. Aww. I'll charge it eventually. I went from that to an S2, Galaxy S2. And everybody keeps going to sleep. That one still works. I had an S5. I traded it in with T-Mobile to get something off my current bill. Other than that, it would be in my collection. I have my S7. My S9 I'm currently using. Ooh. Holy cow. I dabbled in the Nokia 
N800 tablet for a little bit. And it's a great tablet. And I'll talk about that later. It still works. Everything on the top row, the tablets, the larger phones, and even the Samsung Tab 2 10-inch tablet, these were all that were either given to me or I found. Oh, I wow. believe <clears throat> this one I found. It literally was just laying in the street. So I picked it up. I said everything works. They just go to sleep mode. I feel like this could be an art installation of yes, screens. Yes, exactly. That's so cool. I can't, I really wish that I had kept all of my gadgets around. I I, I, I do have a, a box of phones. I probably have 10. Yeah. I don't. I definitely don't have any of my flip phones from back in the day. I may have the first phone that was mine, which was the LG Chocolate. I had the LG Chocolate, which was a... An okay phone. It was okay. And then um, I have my original droid, but I think that's where it ends. I don't think I kept really much uh -oh. else. Most of my iPhones I either sold to get some cash back or I joined the partner program about two phones ago, so those phones are gone. So yeah, there's just I just don't keep yeah. my phones anymore. I think I have my Motorola StarTac. <laughs> That's what my mother had that phone. Yes. Do you remember that? Oh yes, and she uh, had the upgraded battery that had the vibrator in it that added like <laughs> an yeah, inch to yeah. the phone. It was ridiculous. <laughs> yes, and mine was a gift from Motorola because um, it was at CES. And they were introducing it at 9 o'clock, but they let me introduce it at 7 a.m. So I could call from CES to Charlie Gibson. I think it was Charlie Gibson uh, on Good Morning America. Wow. So I could make the first Star Tech call. And I was so nervous, and he answered, and the, we were. it was good on both ends. Yeah. <laughs> and Motorola said, you know what? You can have that phone. <laughs> and I thought, oh, whoa, whoa. You're telling me if reception was bad, you would have kept it? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> but my funny thing with the phone was, you know, the uh, the brick phone. And, and at one point, General a GE was making, for a very short time, phones. And they had this very small, for uh, time, a, a phone maybe about that big. Yeah. Um, and I, I had it and I was waiting for someone to pick me up. Uh, we were going out on a shoot and I had the phone and I had my, uh, clothing and stuff for the uh, shoot. And I was calling to see where they were. And this man said to me, that is the smallest phone I ever saw. And I said, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a GE thing. And he, and I said, you can hold it. And he said, oh, it's so light. And he said, he pointed to my shoulder bag and he said, and what does the battery weigh? <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I said, no, this is the phone. Oh the battery's in here. Is that funny? I, oh, I you know, I kind of, I kind of still get that to this day um, with my car. And every once in a while, I'll be talking to someone about the Tesla, and they go, so, but it still has a gas engine in there, right? <laughs> no, no, it doesn't. Or they go, so, so its miles per gallon is really good. It's like, there's <laughs> no gas in this car. Yeah. That's, yeah. It's Golly. very funny. It's, it's funny. You funny. just expect stuff to stay the same, you know? It's just that big of a leap doesn't yeah. compute. No, these days... We're leaping about. Leaping all the time. <clears throat> With that, let's move on. Let's leap in to the letter.
And uh, after I start reading the letter, you can uh, go to that link that I sent you. I sent you a copy of it. Okay, the letter is from someone, Chad, you may know. A person's name is Selena Johnson. What? What? I did not know this. Mom. A-K-O-M-G, mom. <laughs> Subject, Chad's fifth anniversary as co-host. Oh my gosh. Dear Dick, in case you and Chad didn't realize that January 3rd, 2019, which is on next show. Yeah, next show. Next next time we tape, 2019 will be the fifth anniversary of Chad co-hosting the Gizwiz with <laughs> you. I remember how excited he was when he received the news that he's going to work with you as co-host. We're proud then, and we're so proud now that he's working with Mad's Maddest Writer. Uh, here's a link to the January 3rd, 2014 episode. Oh, my God, look at your hair. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, you know, you know what? So uh, Start it a minute in for a couple of uh, seconds Ooh. because there's a commercial and some stuff. Oh, that's good. That, uh, uh, a minute in is good. Okay, here. There we go. That's good. We'll talk about Linda. And you can then, start. Yeah, and we see you. Well, guys, we got rid of Leo finally. <laughs> Time for the Gizwiz. It's the so hot. illustrated side, and that's the <laughs> yeah. You see? There we go. And so, but I liked that me and you were on the front here. This oh, is, well, then go back to the. Oh, this okay, is me I and you, right? Side. I, I made a yes, modification. Yes, it is. There. Uh, you know, I never realized. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's been stuff. me and you the I whole time. It. Yeah. Yeah. I, so. You know, I didn't know. So I guess in the back of Leo's mind, he always thought that he was just doing it for eight years. <laughs> that is so funny. Isn't that a but riot? It's, it's an oh interesting my gosh. idea. Uh, it's something I, I guess. Uh, 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 and she doesn't have the correct no, nickel metal hydride no, battery. Right. No. And now it takes four. <laughs> okay. Wow, that okay, is a trip down so, memory lane. Five years so ago. So we'll start year five. We'll have an anniversary uh, on January 3rd. And then she adds, I'm, I'm not sure, but I think the first time Chad co-hosted with you was November 6, 2012, episode 1389. I think you might have taken over for a week when Leo was traveling. Yeah, that I remember cool? that. I think he traveled yeah. for like a month. <laughs> so yeah, it, okay. It like maybe, maybe he did it yeah. for a whole month. Yeah. She said, yes, only a proud mom keeps track of this kind of information. Uh, best wishes to you, Chad, and the Gizwiz in the new year. Sincerely, OMG Mom. Wow. That is so crazy. Can so, you imagine so five crazy. years? I can't believe that. I don't think I've had a job for five years. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the longest job I've ever had. That's crazy. What? Is that We're, a straight is, jacket? What is that? <laughs> this is a, uh, um, I barely remember. I only remember it because I, I skipped ahead a little bit. Um, you can use lasers to write on it temporarily. It's like a weird glow in the dark. Oh, oh, I remember that. Thing. It only worked so-so, didn't it? Yeah, it didn't work super great. So here we are trying to laser it. And it, it really didn't do much. You can kind of see a ghosting on it. Yes, yes, you see it like for five seconds. Yeah. Or less. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't all that great. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, Chad's crappy corner has kind of stayed the same. It's pretty yes. crappy. <laughs> <laughs> that is, what a trip down memory, memory lane. Thanks, Mom. Yeah, and uh, OMG Mom, thank you for the fudge. She, she sent me some fudge. <laughs> no way! So that sent fudge. Dennis and I, she sent Dennis and I fudge and said, sorry, Charlie, fudge is not good for dogs. <laughs> no, not good for dogs. And she, she is correct. That fudge is a family tradition, uh, going back to before I can even remember, is every year we make fudge. It's an old family recipe. Um, at, at one point, we started making two types of fudge, one with almonds and one's without almonds. Traditionally, it has, uh, not almonds, uh, pecans. Traditionally, it has pecans in it. And so that fudge you got was homemade um, by I know, but the whole fam. she said, do you like pecans or not? Yeah. And I said, 
if you're making both, could I get a taste of each? And she exactly. said, oh, we are making both. Yeah, we always do. Oh, you do. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This is, uh, this is, you don't realize it's a whole production. We, um, I think we make like 20 pounds. Oh my God. Or something like you that. You have a little I mean, stand outside? Uh, no, we don't. We've never sold it. But, um, oh, okay. we, we make, I mean, it is a, we would, uh, I wish I had photos or something to, to tell you, uh, like to show you, but we would make cookie sheets and we'd make at least like five or six Big, big cookie sheets with fudge, which is about, say, yeah, let me see. almost an what inch I... thick, maybe maybe anywhere between a half inch to an inch thick. Um, and every every year, I mean, I remember sitting, you have to break up um, Hershey's bars to, to make it. And so we would, all the kids would sit there, crack Hershey's bars so that you could, it could melt faster. And my mom taught me about how to worry about not burning yourself with boiling sugar. But yeah, oh my gosh. Fudge is, uh, yeah, we've made it every year. <laughs> Sean said you should start the OMG fudge store. Yeah, it's, uh, that's, it's such a weird tradition now that I think about it. But we would give that, that away to uh, teachers. Um, it was kind of our, our it's our tr Chris, Christmas tradition to always give away oh fudge. Oh my goodness. So we give it away to all of our extended family, um, school teachers, Neighbors, friends, obviously you got some. So yeah, so it's a, oh, it's great. a family tradition. Great. Yeah. That's cool. Thanks, Excellent. Mom. Excellent. Awesome. With that, I want to give another thank you to our patrons over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. Oh, oh. Oh, nice. Then it's just entered. <laughs> the bump ba dum. So this is a uh, plane. Mm -mm -mm. Yep. Mm -mm. <laughs> And we'll go to Pecans. That is oh, like... There's an, oh, my, oh, this one has a note in it with a bill. Uh, <laughs> I, I didn't expect that. Yeah, it was cash on delivery. Pecans. You didn't realize. Pecans. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. All right. Yeah. yeah. Very good. Yeah, that's our fudge. The, um, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, we, 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 I, we can't cut in on our Patreon. You're embarrassing me is really what's here. going on. Is, uh, that's funny. Um Patrons, thanks patrons, Patreons, patreon.com slash gizwiz. Uh, you guys support the show every single episode. Thank you so much. Without you guys, we couldn't do it. Big thank you to everyone who has supported in the past and to everybody who is continuing on with their patronage. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We love it when you patronize us so much. Uh, <laughs> and if you want to support, you can head on over to gizwiz.tv, click on the Patreon tab, and there there's also a PayPal link. There's obviously a Patreon link, but there's also a PayPal link for a single donation as well. We are having a New Year's Eve extravaganza, so make sure that you join us here on New Year's Eve. We're doing an Eastern time and a Central time. So join just a little bit before, and we'll be going live. We're going to be showing your videos. So we want you guys to say hello from wherever you are. So please email us a short video. We just only saying, have two. Yeah, Hi. we only have two videos. Yeah. All we're looking for is like 15 to 20 seconds. Just a shout out to us and your family. Exactly. Yeah, anything. Just say hi. That's it. Just who you are, where you are, and happy Happy New Year, and that's that's enough. That's all, that's all we want. So uh, please uh, send in your videos, mail at gizwiz.tv. Don't forget, also, we're looking for more uh, Dick's Gadget Warehouse videos. So if you have a gadget that you love, that you hate, that you can't throw away, that you want to throw away and rant about, uh, really any gadget that's in your life that you use often, please also mail it to the show, mail at gizwiz.tv with a video. Don't just email it and just record a video of you talking about it and then email it to the show. Someone is um, asking if we're also going to be on YouTube or just here. Both. We'll be Both. Well yeah, we'll just okay. we'll Yeah. So like 1140 TV. Yeah, it'll be on. Yeah. Okay, on, like 1145 Monday night. Yep. Till like 1215, we'll just play around and then we'll do it again uh, an hour later for Central Time. And Wait. Chad will welcome in New Year's out there with his Wait. fudge stand. I believe he'll have the fudge stand up and running. The Johnson family fudge stand. <laughs> There's money in the fudge stand. Uh, 
Also, don't forget to play What the Heck Is It? Because this is your last moment, too. Yes, so it is. So over to gizwiz.biz. Play What the Heck Is It? The game show online that you can participate in. Go on to gizwiz.biz. Also, while you're there, there's amazing articles written by Dickie D about all of the gadgets that we cover. But click on What the Heck Is It? And this is the gadget, the whole gadget, nothing but the gadget. So help us gadget. Uh, and uh, it's it's obvious. It's so this is uh, this is an obvious gadget to me. Um, this is a megaphone um, for two hand a two handed megaphone. It's new <laughs> new age okay. design. So instead of holding it from the bottom, now you can hold it from both sides. Oh yell, wow! Okay, get okay. into the. Megaphone. If you think you know what this is, get a guess on at gizwiz.biz. There are six mad magazines for correct answers, 12 mad magazines for funny, clever, hilarious, or interesting answers. So get a guess on at gizwiz.biz. And this is what you win a signed copy of the 20 Attack of the 20 Dumbest Things of 2018. So get a guess in because you know you want it. Yeah. With that. That about wraps it up for this episode. Uh, next Disney's. week we're doing two shows. Next week we are recording live two shows, best and worst. Um, we I we normally go through and choose choose those. Um, so yeah, it'll be a lot of fun. It's a nice good wrap up of 2018 as we jump into 2019, right before the crazy CES madness. Right. Yeah, exactly. So, so two shows next week, the week of January 10th. Uh, Chad and I are in Vegas, Vegas so there'll be man. no show then. And then we're back to Thursdays, as far as I'm concerned. You you, you seem good for yeah, yeah. the rest of January? See. Good. Anything okay. Excellent. Horizon? Yep. Excellent. With that, we'll see you next week. I'll be here.